Hello friends, it's me, Sarah Rose. Today is my 18th birthday, so I thought I was going to paint something um, a little different for you guys. I was originally going to paint a self-portrait, but then I thought that that would take me too long and uh, I feel like I'm not that good at them. And I already painted one like two weeks ago or something. It's on my Instagram if you want to see it, you can check it out. Um, so instead I painted this weird girl who is slightly inspired by me because I didn't use any reference references besides looking at a mirror uh, a mirror at myself. Um, anyways, I really didn't have any plans for this piece, uh, besides my original plan to make a self-portrait. As you might be able to tell, I'm swatching colors as I go and taking, like, small pauses, trying to decide, or, uh, yeah, trying to decide what would look best. Um, I wanted her to be a bit different from my normal portraits that I post, um, especially here on YouTube. So I made a disembodied hand, and I made her, um, her eye weird, and I also gave her bright colored hair. Uh, I don't know. I really like how this piece. Um, I really like how this piece goes. I was telling my mom how sometimes whenever I'm painting just for leisure, um, like I get into the zone, and I feel like every decision I'm making turns out right. Um, like everything I do, I'm like, "Ooh, that shadow looks good." Yeah. <laughs> and I told her that for once, I think I caught it on camera, and. Um, every decision or everything I did on this piece I feel like it, it turned out well and turned out looking the way that I wanted it to look. Not only did I enjoy painting this um, this weirdo, I also really liked how it came out. Um, so yeah for some reason I really wanted her hair to be or I really wanted to use a bright green color and I just mixed it up and I was like you know I don't know where to put this I guess I'll just put it in her hair but I already previously mixed up a purple color, so I just decided to do both of them, and it turned out um, looking kind of good. Okay, well, if you're interested in any of the supplies I use um, in this video, it's all listed in the description box, as usual, along with my social media, my Pinterest, and uh, both of the reviews that I did for the Windsor Newton Cotman palette that I'm using in this video, and the Jaylee Rowney um, affordable brushes that I'm, I'm using. I only actually used one in this video, but yeah. Uh, enjoy the video. I will talk to you guys closer to the end.
So I'm just adding the finishing touches. I use my Prang warm gray colored pencil to add uh, more shadow and a little bit more detail in the top of her hair. Um, and my light green Prang colored pencil to add some texture to the bottom green part of her hair. I also use my Jelly Roll um, pen in white to add some highlights to her nose, her eyes, her mouth, etc. Oh, and I forgot to film this part, but in the end I did put some gold um, Jelly Roll gel pen on her fingernail. Uh, like I said, I really like how she turned out. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye!